Hi, how you doing? This is Rich here on behalf of Rich TV Live. I'm here with a very special guest. It is Sophie, the communications manager of Sundial Growers. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing very good, and we're very excited to have you here. Yeah, how are you me enjoying too. the conference? Uh, yeah, I'm enjoying it. It's it's awesome. I, I love these these opportunities. It's so good to get the the cannabis community together, meet people, have conversations. It's great. I love it. Now it's really exciting to have you guys here. And are you from Calgary? Yeah. I know your company's from Calgary. Yeah. And you guys are pretty new IPO still compared to a lot of the companies you've been around yeah. a few months yeah. so tell us what is Sundial what makes you different why are you guys so special okay well so we've been public since uh, um, August um, so it's been a few months uh, it's been very interesting since August yeah it's been um, Tough time to go public. Yeah, it's, it was a tough time, but you know we're we're really happy to have done it, and we're happy to have done it when we did it. Um, so Sundial, I mean, our mission is to enhance people's lives through our Heal Help Play products. Great. Um, so Heal is medical products, Help is uh, wellness products with CBD, and then Play products is our recreational brands. Great. Um, so here, if you're if you're at the um, at the conference uh, this weekend, you'll see all of our Play products. So uh, Sundial Cannabis. Top Leaf, BC Wheat Co, Palmetto, um, and then one of our biggest differentiator is how we grow our cannabis. So what we do is we do purpose-built purpose, purpose -built modular systems. So we grow our cannabis in small rooms and then so that way we can really control the environment in which we grow like and really tailor it and target it so it's not huge greenhouse. Because it becomes difficult, right? Absolutely. So I mean that enables us to learn really fast and so if we make mistakes it's really it's really easy for us to kind of switch gears and switch strategies and it's, it's, it's a little bit easier for us and then it enables us to create really high quality products that we've seen on the market right now with our strawberry cream with top leaf lemon riot with sundial cannabis they're flying off the shelves and wow. they're doing really really well you know it's funny I uh, have a spirit leaf in Vancouver that I go to and I've been buying your product yeah. um, Daga is it Daga no which product is it it's not Daga. Uh, man, <laughs> what is it? What are some of the brands you guys carry? So we that have you're selling at Spirit Leaf. Do you know? Uh, so well, it depends on which uh, which store. But it, is it Sundial Cannabis or is it Top Leaf? Sundial. Sundial. So we have Lemon Riot, Citrus Punch, Zen Berry. Uh, we have also Twilight Berry Bliss that's just coming on the market. You've got so Very many products. Soon. I know it's so complicated. I know. You know, I can't remember the yeah. name, but I was buying Sundial product. I know for a fact. So I've been supporting your. Company. Okay, that's good. That's and, good. Uh, I tested the product and it was a good product, by the way. It's really good. <laughs> and one of the things that I'm really impressed with is you guys' revenue growth. Mm -hmm. For a company that's only been public for a few months, you guys have pretty incredible revenue growth. Yeah. What's the secret to that? Like, where are you guys selling right now? Are you selling all across Canada? So we're selling. Uh, we're selling pretty much from uh, west to east. We're obviously in BC, in Alberta. So we were only in Alberta for a few months, and then okay. we started expanding through the province, uh, through the provinces. So we're BC. Alberta, Saskatchewan, Manitoba, Ontario. We're not in Quebec yet, but hopefully we will be in the next few months. Uh, and then Nova Scotia, fairly new right before the end of the year. Wow. New Brunswick, uh, we're, we started shipping this year. Great. Uh, 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 PEI as well. Uh, and then not Newfoundland yet. So Newfoundland and Quebec are the two provinces that we're waiting. And then the territories as well, but we're planning on doing it this year. Wow, so coast to coast across Canada. Yeah. Now, I had one of my members ask me, because they're an investor, they're like, listen, I want to know, are these guys going to the U.S.? <laughs> Do you guys have any goals to expand to the U.S. or internationally? Um, so, as you as you probably know, we uh, we did a we made an acquisition back in July. So we built Bridge Farm, which is uh, a huge facility there, um, 1.5 million square foot facility. Right now, it's uh, it's herbs, it's uh, it's flowers that they're growing. We're going to convert it to hemp and cannabis eventually. So our our priority right now is Europe. Uh, it's a it's a bigger popular base. So that's kind of why we decided to focus on that and kind of leave the U.S. to to the other LPs. But you know what? We're always looking at opportunities. We're all we're always looking at what would make more sense for Sundial. So we're not saying no to the U.S., but we don't really have... I think Europe is a great right market. Yeah. I think what was the number, like over 500 million people in the European market? I mean, it is a bigger it is a bigger popular base, and, and CBD there is huge. So that's what we would be doing in Europe. So... Is CBD a big portion of your business? Because we can't really do CBD in Canada, right? 
We right can, now? yeah. Through uh, cannabis-infused beverages, correct? Uh, you can do CBD with oils. You okay. can do CBD with topicals. Um, so you guys have a license to do CBD through your oils? Because I know there's a couple companies that had licenses, and there was a bunch of. Are waiting. you talking about Europe? No, I'm talking about in Canada. In Canada? No, we, we have, yeah, yeah. You have a license to yeah. do that. Yeah. Very good. Because I think yeah. there's only a few companies that have the license to do that so far. From what I heard. Interesting. Yeah, like Aurora and Xenobis were two of the few. So we are coming out with our first CBD product, okay. our oil, Very good. Uh, at the end of January, beginning of February. Timing, exact timing, it's when you ship and obviously when it gets in the stores, that's that's never certain. But yes. uh, uh, in the next two months, we should be ha we should have our first CBD oil. Very good. Um, unflavored. Product. That'll be really big. Yeah, we're. I'm really. I'm personally really excited about that and to try that. Totally. Yeah. And edibles just launched. Yeah. Are you guys deep in the edibles? So we don't have edible products just yet. Uh, those are in the plants for summer, uh, end of summer, summer end of summer. So what we will be doing is uh, teas, which. Uh, that's exciting. That's so exciting. To Teas. Oh, yeah. yeah. I love tea. I know. Everyone <laughs> loves tea. Uh, and then gummies and chocolate. Very so good. That's, but right now, in terms of 2.0 products, we're really focused on vape. Okay. Um, we have uh, a lot of our vape products with Top Leaf and uh, Sundial out right now, and then soon uh, Palmetto. Very good. Now, we have investors all over the world in 60 countries that watch our show every day. We get like 11,000 hours of watch time a month on YouTube alone. People love to watch and learn about these companies. So, if you were talking to the investors that are watching in over 60 countries right now that wanted to know why they should invest in Sundial, what would you tell them? Uh, like I said before, um, one of our biggest differentiator is how we grow and the way that we grow it is very dif different and very particular and it really enables us to grow high quality products. Another thing that is, is huge about Sundial is the team that we have. The executive, they all come from uh, CPG background, so consumer packaged good back background, so Coors, Coca-Cola, Budweiser, Mars, so they have a lot of knowledge about this, right? They've done this before, they know what it takes to, to, to be successful in this industry, well not cannabis industry, but CPG industry. Yep. So we have we have really strong people there. And then um, we have amazing um, strains, right? Our growers are the best in the in the business. Our strains are the best that you want. So we know that what we have, everything that we have is going to be successful. And we're right now we're making some really top quality product that we are very, very proud of. And is there anything that you want to tell the investors that are watching that they should look forward to for 2020 and beyond? Anything new, anything exciting coming up, um, anything different? I know you mentioned edibles, which should be great. Yeah, edibles are great. I think this is an emerging industry. So like, I feel like every day is different and every day is It changes different. so fast. It's changed so fast, which is why it's really interesting, right? And and, and again, like I was I was listening to, um, uh, to uh, yesterday at the business conference, I was yeah. listening to a panel and one of the guys said like, in average, an investor stays with a company 9.2, uh, years or 9.6 years, right? So it's and and a decade. A typical <laughs> marriage is about on Five average years? like 10 years. <laughs> so right. So when you invest with a company, you're you're in it to, for the long run. That's right? right. So I think that's what we need to remember. This is an emerging industry. Uh, we've only been legal for in Canada. We've only been legal for not 13, even, 14 months. Exactly right. So I think people just need to be patient, right? We're totally. we're learning. We're getting better. Everyone's getting better. Sundial's getting better um, so it's just be patient things extraordinary things are gonna happen and this is an emerging industry like when when will you ever be a part of this it, never again like, never so once again. in a lifetime opportunity exactly. I tell everyone it's a hyper growth sector it can only get bigger it reminds me of the tech sector yeah and everybody's like oh the tech sector had a bubble well what happened through that now we've got Facebook We've got Snapchat, we got Instagram, we got Twitter. Yeah. These are all online giants, Amazon, yeah. Google. They run the world. Exactly. So through that bubble, these companies now run the world. Exactly. I believe that we're going to see a similar trend in the cannabis sector where some of these companies that get through this and through this tough initiation stage 
not only will be successful, but they're going to become global brands that people can recognize with and see on shelves all over the world. I, yeah, I agree. So congratulations on all your success. Well, thank you. Congratulations on the new IPO. Thank you. And only being a few months old. Yeah. I wish you all the best in your future endeavors. Yeah, thank you so much. Guys, this is Sophie, the communications manager for Sundial Growers. Take a look at Sundial Growers. They're a company to watch. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks. Thank you so much. Thank you.